After a long day's work, the last thing you want to be doing is writing another social media post to promote your business. Now imagine if I told you if there was a way an AI system could create high value posts for you and post every single day 100% automated. In this video, I'll show you how you can make your very own AI social media system that will post optimized LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter posts for you every single day. It will also create an AI generated image that will be completely optimized for the platform. And you can do all of this with just one single input. If you stick around to the end of this video, I'll show you how you can build the system step by step. If you're new to this channel, my name is Yash and I help businesses understand the value that they can get out from AI and help them implement these solutions. The objective of this video is to actually first build an AI system that actually works and then secondly, one that produces high value content. Now let's have a look at the system in a bit more detail. So this system is designed to take a piece of news or an article and then turn that into an optimized social media post. It starts off with a manual trigger. This could be anything like Slack, Google Sheets, or a social messaging platform. To start this flow off, we take that link and we chuck it into our manual trigger, as we just said, and then that link is sent to Perplexity AI. Now, if you're not familiar with what Perplexity AI is, it's think of it this way, it's a cross between ChatGPT and Google. So it's gonna take that link and it's gonna create an optimized summary based on what the article's talking about. From there, we send that perplexity summary through to a router. Now, you can see that there's four different pathways over here that we have, and it's quite important to understand that we need these four different pathways as we're gonna be creating four different optimized um, posts for different social media platforms. So let's have a look at the first pathway that we're here, that's LinkedIn. So if we're to zoom in here, we take the summary from perplexity AI and send it to ChatGPT. Now, here we're taking we're taking the summary from ChatGPT, and we've got a prompt here, which will then convert that summary into an optimized LinkedIn post. Don't worry, you can find this prompt and an exact copy of this whole system in my resource hub. You can access that using the link in the description below. So from there, we then use DALI three create an image for our article. This is just going to use the perplexity summary and create an image based on what it can see from that. And then the last step is just to post it to your social media. Now let's hop into this and build the system step by step. To start off, I'm gonna hit this create new scenario button. Now we're onto this blank canvas. Let's start off by doing our trigger. So the trigger we're gonna be using for this um, system is Google Sheets. I'm just gonna input that in and we wanna be watching for new rows. So that means whenever we put a new link into our Google Sheets, make uh, make.com is automatically under, gonna understand there's a new row and it's gonna kick off that flow. I'm now gonna have to connect it up to my spreadsheet. So I've got a spreadsheet ready here. It's called uh, AI social media system. I'm gonna hit okay on that. Next, we need to add perplexity AI to this system. It's gonna search for perplexity and you need to make a connection to this. One thing to remember is you're gonna need some perplexity AI credits for this. So as you can see here on my screen, I've only uploaded a couple of dollars and you can, you can do the same and it's going to go a long way. Like, you know, you don't, the Plexity API calls don't actually use that many credits. So even if you upload a couple of dollars, it's going to go a long way for you. So here, what we need to do is we need to add a message. So in terms of the contents, we're going to put column A as that's where we're, we're going to be posting the link and the role is going to be of a user. So let's hit OK on that. Next, what we need to do is we need to insert a router. So this is going to help us get to those different pathways for those um, social media posts. So starting off with the top one, let's do that. Let's let's do a LinkedIn pathway first. So I'm going to add an open AI. I'm going to add an open AI block, and this is where we're going to be sending a prompt off to ChatGPT. So here, yet again, with ChatGPT, you need to create a connection to, um, you need to open, you need to have an open AI account where you need to upload some credits. As you can see here, I've got a few dollars. Uh, you can upload $5 here. And then you need to go to the API, um, create API key. And once you have that API key, you just need to uh, come back into make and then add a connection. You just need to add a connection, put your API key in here and then you can just hit save. I'm not gonna do that because I already have my connection set up, but you can do something similar. So now going back to selecting model, I'm just gonna select um, 4.0 as that's just gonna give us the best accuracy and probably the best summary uh, and optimized article. 
Uh, in terms of the message now, this is where we're gonna select user and now we need to actually put down uh, the message content. So now this message content is gonna be the prompt that we're gonna um, use to create that optimized LinkedIn post. So just a reminder, all of these prompts are available in my resource hub. Uh, link, use the link in the description below. So now that we've put in the prompt, we're just gonna add another message that's gonna be sent from us, which is the user, create an optimized LinkedIn post using this summary. And that's where we're gonna put in summary uh, that we've gotten returned from Complexity. So we need to go choices, message, and then content. And this is gonna have the content that comes through. And for max tokens, I'm just gonna put um, 300, which is more or less the equivalent of about 300 words. You probably don't want a LinkedIn post more than 300 words anyway. So it's gonna hit okay. All right, so next we're gonna be having a look at uh, adding DALI 3 to this and creating an AI generated image. So let's click on the plus, we're gonna add in generated an image. And then here, just gonna select DALI 3. And in terms of the prompt, I'm gonna just chuck in a quite simple one. So it's create an image based on the summary. And for the summary, we're gonna be putting in the perplexity AI summary. So you just need to go down here and content. So this is gonna give you that summary. I'm just gonna add in an extra line. So it's just gonna say, do not create an image with text in it. And this is to prevent uh, the AI from creating a text, from creating an image, which might just have complete gibberish as text. The next step is you can connect this directly to your social media platform. But what I would highly recommend is connect it to Google Docs first. So you can actually see what the AI is outputting. And once you're comfortable with what the AI is posting, the type of content, that's when you can directly link it up to your socials and make it 100% automated. For the sake of this example, I'm gonna connect it to Google Docs just so you can see what exactly it is outputting. So I'm just gonna select the insert paragraph to a document function, go to social media posts, document setup. And in terms of the text that we wanna be appending, that's going to be from the open AI block. So I'm just gonna go message content, Let's hit OK. And now we're going to hit add another module, which is to add the image that is generated from OpenAI. So similarly, select the document. And now we're going to get that URL from the DALI block that we have here. So let's just hit URL and hit OK. As you can see, now we've got the system here, which is set up. So that's the LinkedIn pathway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a pathway with Twitter as well. So all I've done here is I've just cloned all of the modules from the top and let's run through them one by one in terms of the changes you need to make to the Twitter pathway. Now I'm gonna take you through step-by-step step in terms of how you need to edit these. So starting off with the Twitter one, we're gonna change this prompt to one that is optimized for Twitter and I'm just gonna make this change again so that it's creating that for the Twitter page. In terms of max tokens, we're just gonna change that down as well. We're just gonna say 100. We don't really need that much. It's not gonna hit 100 anyway, but just for the sake of that. Then nextly for the DALI 3, we're gonna add in a little bit extra information where it says print an image that is 1600 by 900 pixels. And that's just gonna make sure that the image generated is optimized for the platform. I'm gonna then update my references to my Google document as we've cloned this. We just need to make sure that it's pointing towards the correct, it's pointing towards the correct um, content that has been generated. So this is optimized for Twitter. So we just need to make sure that that's the correct variable. And lastly, we're gonna do the same with image URL. Cool, now that that's in, I'm gonna hit okay. And now that's our pathway completed. So now what I'm gonna do is I've got an article that I'm gonna grab and chuck that into the Google Docs. All right, now we're gonna see this system in action. I've got an article here, which is a, just a finance article in silver. I'm just gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste that into my Google spreadsheet. And now we can see this flow is kicked off and uh, let's wait for this to finish. All right, now the flow's finished working. Let's have a look at what it's come up with. So here you can see we've got a LinkedIn article that it's produced. Now, this is the original article talked about rate cuts and sort of the general instability in the market. So it's taken those core concepts and quite brilliantly highlighted those and into four different paragraphs and this is the AI image that it's generated. Similarly, with the LinkedIn post, we've got sort of the main headline from the article and it summarized that. And we've also got the AI generated image. 
So from here on out, what you can do is you can take these posts and tweak them just to make sure that they fit your brand's voice and sort of any other tweaks that you may want to make. You can also tweak the chat GPT prompt to make sure that it's producing outputs in line with whatever it is that you're looking for for your posts. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to drop us a like on this and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more AI videos. Let me know in the comments on what you'd like to see more videos on. If you need help implementing this system in your business, or if you have any other ideas that you want to talk to us about, you can reach out to me using the link and the details provided in the description below. If you're interested in watching another AI use case, definitely check out this video where I've built out an AI e-commerce chatbot which does custom product recommendations for its users. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.